What's up, everybody? Sparky Nights, and I want to come at you another video. Coming at you with my Eagles Giants post game reaction video. Before I get into this video, I want to take this time to give a shout out to all the Giant fans out there, uh, especially the ones here on YouTube. Um, Gregory Comente, Kid Blue, Ray Vaughn from Virginia, Tara Belly, Ron Effett, Cop Pezzo, Mr. Bad Dog, and, you know, and so on, man. Um, Cruiser 26, give you a shout out as well, Cruiser 26. But yeah, just just give a shout out to all you Giants fans out there. With that said, man, um, I really don't know what to feel about this win, to be honest with you. You know, I'm not really super excited about this win right now because, let's just face it, man, neither one of these teams are really that good, you know. Eagles, we, you know, we, we always find a crazy way to come back and beat the Giants. That's just, that's how it's been, you know, in, it's been like that in the last 10 plus years, man. It's just been us pulling it out of our ass and find a way to win. Once again, Jake Elliott kicking the field goal to win this win this game for us. Um, with this win, we 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 officially have tied the series rec, um, all time record with the New York Giants. We're all, we're tied with the New York Giants all time. So if we you know we beat them next year. We we we'll take the lead in the um the all time record. So that's one thing that came out of this. You know we tied them officially. Um, you know, this is the second straight year that we swept the New York Giants. You know, we you know, we beat them twice last year, and now we you know we beat them twice this year. So we're sweeping the Giants two years in a row. Now we have the um, the series record, all time series record, is tied with the New York Giants. But with that said, man, I'm gonna say it again. Um, I don't really know how to feel about this game. I'm not really super excited because at the end of the day, it's New York Giants. New York Giants are not really a good football team. And neither are we, let's just be honest, you know. So I'm not really super excited and jump for joy. Yeah, it's great to get a win, you know, because it's been a while since we got the win. The, the last victory we had was against the Jacksonville Jaguars, you know. So it's great to get a win. But do I really see this as a turning point where it turns around our season? No, I really don't. It, um, my schedule is only going to get tougher. Let's just keep it real. It's going to get tougher. We got the Houston Texans coming up. We have the um, the Los Angeles Rams coming up, so we still got some pretty tough games on the schedule, and we still got the Dallas Cowboys for another matchup, a rematch, and watch the Redskins. Of course, we have them as well on our schedule, but um, yeah, Eagles tie the all-time record with the New York Giants. Um, you no know, pulling out a crazy comeback, comeback from behind win, another comeback from behind win against the Giants, and the Eagles are now five and six. Which means they're one game, you know, they're one game behind in the NFC. Um, I guess you said a game to have really in the NFC East right now. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, who got the win against the Washington Redskins on Thanksgiving, or um, you know, they beat them and they're, you know, they're 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 tied with the with the Washington Redskins when it comes to record. But the Cowboys right now are still on top of the division right now. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go over these um, stats real quick for this game and give you my thoughts on them. When it came to passing, Carson Wentz today was 20 for 28, 236 yards passing, and a touchdown pass. No interceptions. Uh, rushing the football, Josh Adams. Good day by Josh Adams. Josh Adams had 22 carries for 84, 84 yards. He averaged 3.8 yards a carry, and he had a touchdown. Corey Clement carried the ball five times for 45 yards. He averaged nine yards a carry. Carson Wentz ran two times for negative two yards. Receiving, um, good, very, very good day by Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz had seven catches for 91 yards. He averaged 13 yards per catch, and um, and he had a touchdown catch. So very good day by Zach Ertz. Congratulations to Zach Ertz. Also, uh, 400 career uh, receptions. So, you no know, congratulations, Zach Ertz. I know that's that's you know plenty more of those um, milestones. You're going to be reaching your career. So, congratulations, Zach Ertz, on, on that milestone. 400 career catches. Um, Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey had three catches for 39 yards. He had 13 um, yards per catch on, on average. Dallas Goddard had three catches for um, 33 yards. He had 11 catches. Um, I'm, uh, excuse me, 11 yards per catch on average. Uh, Corey Clement, two catches for 31 yards. 15.5 yards average. Uh, Golden Tate had four catches for 30 yards. He averaged 7.5 yards a catch. Nelson Aguilar had one catch for 12 yards. He averaged 12. He averaged 12 yards a catch. Um, de defensively, defensively, 
Uh, Kamu Gruja Hill had six tackles, one tackle assist. Corey Graham had six tackles. Um, Busby had um, Bosby had um, five tackles, one tackle assist. Malcolm Jenkins had five tackles, one tackle assist, including the interception on Eli Manning. Um, Nate Gary had three tackles, one tackle assist. Um, Nigel Brown had two tackles, um, two tackles, five tackles assist. Fletcher Cox had two tackles. Um, uh, Kevon uh, LeBlanc had two tackles. Um, Corey Sullivan had two tackles. Brandon Graham, one tackle, one tackle assist. Um, uh, Michael Bennett, one tackle, um, and, and, and one tackle and a sack. Chris Long had one tackle and a sack as well. Uh, Jake Elliott, like I said, Jake Elliott, once again, kicking the game, winning the field goal for us against the New York Giants at home. They, they get, uh, excuse me, uh, Jake Elliott was perfect. He was three for three, a hundred percent on, on his, um, on his kicking. He kicked that 43 yard game, winning field goal. He scored a total of nine points for us this game. So Jake Elliott come, coming through for us again, man, kicking that dagger to the New York Giants again. Um, Kicking a 43-yard game winner. So yeah, like I was saying, man, um, I'm not really jumping for joy over this win, man. I'm really not because you know, I, I really don't see this actually being. Last year, when obviously we kicked that 61-yard field goal at home against the Giants, that was a, a season turner for us. But I don't really think this. I don't really. I don't really see this being a game to, uh, a, a, a change of force to be honest with you right now our offense is still starting off extremely slow very very slow very very slow and then they get something going later on in the game against very good teams man you can't do that you gotta come out shoot you gotta, you gotta come out firing early in the game man and that's my biggest biggest concern right now is that we have these slow starts offensively that that's my biggest concern and once again, we still fail to hit over 30 points a game, you know. We still fail to score 30 points, you know. The only, the only game we had where we went over 30 points this year was the, the previous game against the Giants in New York. So, I don't really see this as being really much of one. Obviously, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that they can um, build off of this, but I don't know, man. It's just, this, you know, the schedule is only getting tougher. You know, it's not getting easier. It's getting tougher. And um, I don't. I, I just don't know. Like I said, we by beating the Giants, we um we have tied the all-time um record with them. If we beat them next year, uh, we will pass them in the all-time record. So that's one good thing about next year is that we have the opportunity to pass them in the all-time series record. You know, because we trailed on um, the Redskins and Cowboys not in our um all-time series record. So to have so to be able to catch up with the Giants is great. That is great. Um, but yeah, Eagles. Come from behind to defeat the New York Giants by a score of um, 25 to 22. This game started off, man, Giants just whooping our ass, man. Um, just whooping our ass. Shaquan Barkley, you guys got your running back at Shaquan Barkley, Giants fans. Shaquan Barkley, that, that kid is the real deal. Plain and simple. That kid right there is the real, the real deal. He was kicking our ass, running all over us, man. Catching some footballs out of the backfield, man. That guy was just, just, just whooping our ass. But that's how I usually go, man. Like the Giants will start off. Um, a lot of times they start off hot against us, man. But then we you know, then we we find a way to pull it out at the very end. That's just how it's been. That's just how it's been with us with the Giants for the most part, man. So this game is no different. You know, they they start off hot. And you but you think to yourself, man, oh, it's just gonna be one of those damn games. The damn Eagles, man, just start you no, know, it's just one of those games where the Eagles just you know, secondary is depleted, obviously, you know. Uh, Cole, uh, Sullivan, we don't we don't know what's going on with Sullivan, and then just injuries happen, man. You just think it's gonna be another one of those damn games. Eagles can't get they they can't get together, man. And that's just that that's what's going that was going through my mind, like oh, just another long ass day, man. But the Eagles, as they are, as they normally do against the Giants, man, they find a way to pull it out at the very end. Like I said, man, the schedule only gets tougher, man. It only gets tougher. Could this be something that could change that could, that could turn our season around? That remains to be seen. But right now, I'm not going to get super happy. I'm not going to get my hopes up, man, that this is a game. This is a season changer because, you know, we, we know, you know, as an Eagles fan, we know not to get our hopes up too high, man. And uh, once again, it was, against, it was against the New York Giants. The Giants are, are not really a good football team, just being real. We're not a really good football team right now either. And, and what's so crazy right now, the NFC East is so bad this year that even the New York Giants still have a, a chance to win this division. That's just how bad it is this year, man. 
the giant the giants still very much have a chance to win this division um right right now we're like a game and a half whatever away from the um we're a game and a half away from the you know the, the cowboys so you know we 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 um we have a chance we have a chance man so we'll we'll see hopefully this right now is a um a season changer hopefully it is but I'm not gonna get all super excited in my hopes up. I'm not going to. So, we'll we'll see. We'll we'll see though. We'll see. Um, Eagles, man. You no, know, it's time to put, now. We gotta move on from this game now. We got we got a game. I think we have the. If I'm not, I think I believe we have the uh, watch the Redskins coming up next week. If I'm not mistaken, uh, we'll you no. Know, we'll, we'll see what the Eagles do, man. Can can they take this um, game and build off of it? We we'll see. But yes, once again, um, shout out to all Giant fans out there, man. All you guys, man. Shout out to all you guys. Um, just you know, rough year for both of our teams, man. Um, but as an Eagles fan, it is good to get a win. Cause like I said, we haven't won. We haven't won since the um, the game against Jacksonville, you know, a couple of weeks ago. So it does feel good to get a win. But um, I'm not gonna get all super excited and. And as if I think it's going to be the, the, the season changer for us because I still see some of the same mistakes in this game, man. Um, offense can't get it going. You know, they they um, they um play bad. You know, slow, very slow start. You know, very slow starts. And then, in the, you know, in the um, in the second half, whatever, then they, then they get together. So you can't do that against the very best teams. We, you know, against the New Orleans Saints last week, for example, man. Against the Saints last week. Yeah, if you start off slow like that, man, Drew Brees is gonna make you pay, you know. So that you know, it's, you can't compete with the best. Basically, what I'm saying, you can't compete with the best when you continue to start off slow like that. You can't. And um, I, I'm hoping that there's gonna be some changes in Philadelphia next year, especially with um, you know, our offensive coordinator. Especially, there need to be some changes. I give the defense their props, man. They get you know they they gave up a lot of yards and you know some touchdowns in the first in the first half. But they came back a lot stronger in the, in the second half. So I give the defense, especially with this depleted secondary man, I give them props. I, I really do give them props for that. You know, they they um they they got together. So, but you guys, we we we, we need you guys. You know, everybody has to come together, man. And you know, you got we we got to look at what we got on this schedule, man. We still have a chance to, to possibly win the division, get the playoffs. But it's gonna take everybody's effort, man. Everybody's gonna have to come together. And um, if we're going to have any chance to make anything happen this year. But, yeah, that's my uh, review, my, my, my post-game reaction for this video. Um, it, once again, the Eagles defeat the New York Giants by a score of 25-22, um, coming back in the second half and beating their um, division rival New York Giants, a team who we, let's be honest, we've owned, like we've really owned this team and, you know, we've owned this team in recent years. So, and this is a team that we just always find a way to come back and beat them. Now, if only we could do that against other teams, man. Now, if only we can um, <laughs> beat other teams like we beat the Giants, you know, come back and you know, find ways to beat them, you know. But, you know, even, even when the Eagles are at their, very at their very worst, we always find a way to beat the New York Giants. I don't know what it is. We just have this team's number, I guess. You know, I, we just have this team's number. That's all I can say. We just have their number. But, like I said, all-time record is tied. We you know putting this game behind us. Gotta move on. Get focused on the next game. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, hit that subscribe button, like, comment. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Um, as always, fly go fly, go birds. Spunky Nice Nine One is out of here. Peace.